Life is getting harder, guys. The economy is getting harder. The society is just difficult right now. You know what I'm saying? You have to do more things than you used to do back in the 1990s, the 1980s, or the early 2000s, bro. That, that It's not the same no more. Everything is increasing. Everything's getting harder. You have to work more. It, what are you going to do about that shit, though, bro? Are you going to sit there and make excuses and complain and think somebody's going to hand something for, just hand something to you? Or you think somebody's going to feel sorry for you? Is that is that the way out? Or are you going to try to go hard in the fucking grind and push yourself to the maximum, bro? Every day I'm pushing myself to the maximum, bro. I had to realize, like, yo, bro, working at this job that I used to work at, was, at, at fucking Coca-Cola, bro, they wasn't paying me no more. I've been there five years, bro. The pay wasn't just, it's not good, bro. It was high school pay, bro. I had to find another skill. I had to go back and learn something else. You know what I'm saying? To level up my income, to make my life a little bit easier. Some of you guys hold so much stress, but some of the stress that you have is something that you can't control, something that you can't solve, so that way it don't be heavy on you. That's the reason why you guys probably can't grow muscle in the gym because you have heavy stress. But that heavy stress, some of the stress that you is consuming right now is things that you can control but you're not trying to do anything about it you just want to live in that stress and that depression mindset instead to have the sense of urgency to do something about it so you can have less stress so your life can be easier so when you do level up your income you don't have to worry about the bills so much because your income is way three four five times higher than what you paying on the bills. You can be able to sleep at night knowing that that AC is running, knowing that that phone bill is, is running, knowing that you can turn that water on, knowing that there's food in the refrigerator. <laughs> like, shit like that, bro, like, that can make your life a whole lot easier knowing that you got the shit figured out. But how can you get shit figured out if you don't want to do nothing about it? How you going to have shit figured out if you don't want to even put the work towards the shit? It, soon, soon as where things gets harder on everybody, soon as the economy gets harder, the first thing people start to do is fucking complain, make excuses. Instead of figuring out, okay, bro, let's figure this shit out, man. Let's solve this solution. Let's come up with a formula. Yeah, we're going to have to throw some math into this shit. Let's come up with a solution to this problem, bro. Let's figure this out. Let's use the formula and try to put in the use to solve this shit, man. Let's take action to this shit. Let's show our work. Like, you know how to teach your third grade math teacher? They be like, yo, show the work to your uh, to your problem. Figure that shit out and show work to that shit, bro. Put in the action by showing the work. What you gonna do about it? How you gonna solve this? Are you gonna go back and learn some type of high value skills, get into some salesmen, go to school, level up that degree? Maybe you were sitting on a bachelor's, maybe you need to level up a master's degree. Maybe you get you chose the wrong degree and it's not making you that much income. Maybe you need to find something that's more sufficient. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have to do Uber on the side to level to to, to get that extra money coming in, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do whatever it takes to make your life easier. Maybe you need to go start a business, bro. You got all that knowledge. Why, why, why not start a business, bro? Try to invest some money into that. Stop investing to the money into the McDonald's and the Burger King. Let's invest in the money into to the shit that is going to make us more valuable, bro. Putting that money into the gym. So that way, when you are in shape, when you're more healthier, when you're eating right, you can work 80 hours over a week. That's another thing. I had somebody come in with like 80 hours, question mark. Bro, come on, bro. You think I'm talking about 80 hours just at a job? Nigga, I'm talking about putting in work in the gym, putting in the work into uh, learning some type of stock market, some type of skill in your, in, 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 in your classes, if you're doing classes to, to get a degree or whatever. Putting it into, you know, small side hustles, Uber, Uber Eats, DoorDash, any of that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Put it into reading a book that is going to be more valuable. Put it into listening to a podcast that's going to give you some type of insight, what you need to do. That's what I do. 
A lot of you guys are so you guys are so uh, fucking mediocre. You have that mediocre mindset. As soon as you get in the car, you listen to rap music. You listen to what they say. You poison your fucking mind. Then you're going home. You're watching porn. Not even taking a shower. Not even taking care of your skin routine. That's why your face is fucking bumpy. You know what I'm saying? You sitting here on Instagram, TikTok, following all these models, looking at all these half-naked girls that you would never pull because you have that mediocre mindset. You don't attain the requirement to even pull those girls. You're wasting your time on that. You're scrolling through TikTok and, and, and just wasting time. Three, four, five hours into that. You're playing a game all day and you're probably good at a game but not using the knowledge to say hey bro let me start streaming so i can try to get some type of income off of this since i love it i'm really good at the game let me start streaming bro let me start getting some people to watch me play the game so they can fund me some money and now i can get some money off of youtube or twitch or anything like that off of any type of social media platform so that way i don't have to work a nine to five job i'm doing something what i love but nah, you guys make it harder. You guys get distracted too easily. Y'all letting society fucking destroy you. That's why life is getting hard for your ass. But in order for you to, to make life easier for you, you have to do the things and put in the work what is required for you to do to live an easier life. It's simple. But the hardest part is by putting in the work. By having the consistency to fucking do it. And I ain't talking about no on and off shit. Some guys be like, oh, well, I am consistent, bro. I am consistent. But every other day, they putting in some effort into what they need to do. A little bit effort. Tomorrow, they playing the game. And the next day, they ain't want to start working on that business. Then they want to start le learning that skill. And then the next three days, they, they, they decide to play the game because they don't feel like doing it. That's not consistency, bro. I'm talking about you have to do this Sunday through the next Sunday, bro. Every fucking day. 80 hours a week or more. If you really want this shit in your life, you'll do anything for you to be able to accomplish these things in your life, bro. A lot of you guys want it, but you guys is not desperate of wanting it. A desperate person that wants something, he's going to do whatever it takes to get to that shit. If he wants to make his life easier, if he wants to make his family easier, if he wants to make his mom's life easier, then he's going to do whatever it takes to make their, to make himself and his family and his mom life easier, bro. He don't care about the instant gratification like you guys do. You guys are so quick to warm things up, to warm up that phone, warm up that a chunky ass food warming up that damn porn instead of just going after something that's going to increase your value in life a lot of you guys complain say hey man i don't got the motivation to do things but hell let's build some fucking discipline bro where the discipline at where's the responsibilities why you make your goals as a responsibility if you want to make 100k this year then figure out how to make that 100k by having it as a responsibility by having it as a fucking standard. Whatever you need to do. Okay, if I'm making 60,000 at this job, let me pick up a part-time job that's gonna make me 30,000. That's 90,000. And then that other 10, let's do fucking Uber for the whole year or something. Then you at, at 100,000 a year. You have to make this shit a standard for you to be able to achieve these things. Stop making things a dream. Stop making everything a fucking wish and make it your fucking standard. That's when you go get things that you want in life. So you make it a standard. So you make things your actually daily fucking task to reach to your fucking goal. Then that's when you can achieve the things in your life. And then that's when things can get easier for your life. But sitting here complaining, getting on the drugs, going to the parties, doing the instant gratification shit, lowering your dopamine is not going to get you there. And life will never feel sorry for you. So what are you going to do in this society for you to make your life easier? For you to want to make a change in your life? If you're getting tired of the bullshit that's going on, then you need to start putting in the work and figure out what the hell you need to do. Have the fucking sense of urgency in doing things and maybe your life can improve. But if you don't, 
then guess what? You gonna always be in that shithole running your fucking mouth and nobody else can hear you because you dig yourself so deep in that fucking hole. A lot of you guys said, man, I don't even got a lot of friends. I don't got a lot of people that, 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 that's on the same mindset as me. You know what, bro? Social media is there, but you too busy using social media in a negative way instead of using a positive way. There's a lot of millionaires, a lot of influencers, just like myself, but more high value than me right now that I even listen to that, that, that give you guys hints, ideas, some very knowledgeable information, but you guys don't want to listen to anything educational. That's why some of you guys are probably clicking off my video early because you guys don't want to hear the truth. You guys don't want to hear the, the education speech I have to say to you motherfuckers. But you so quick to, 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 to go look at that girl twerking. You so quick to, 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 to go play that fucking game. You so quick to, to fire up that porn instead of using something that's going to bring you some sort of value. Value. Here's something that, that you need to sink in your head. Instead, turning off that rap music and turning on podcasts that can help you make more money, that can help you start taking care of your body so that way you know what you need to do to build that muscle to get you lean enough. That's why I do, I don't listen to no bullshit. I don't listen to rap music like that. It's rarely, you can even ask my damn girlfriend, bro. It's rare for her to hear me listen to rap music. I'm always listening to positive shit. I can't help it. Because the more and more I keep sinking my head with this type of shit, the more and more I can apply it to my life, the more I can look at the life differently than fucking others. But you have to be willing to do these type of sacrifices. You have to be willing to be different than everybody else if you want your life to be easier. Stop saying life is fucking hard, it's getting harder, and do something about it, bro. Especially as a man, you need to figure out things in your life. If you a man and you call yourself a leader, and one of you guys say you kings, then you need to have to act like a leader. You have to act like a king. A leader is not gonna complain and say, man, life is getting harder. He said, okay, life is getting harder. Okay, let's figure out how we can make it easier for us. What do we need to do? What type of work that we need to put in? What do we need to do to, 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 to attain this skill so we can solve this problem? What do we need to do to work on our fitness? How we can build our physiques even better? He's figuring it out. He's not gonna sit there and complain. He's gonna try to dominate that problem. Simple as that. Don't forget to like my shit, man. Comment on this video, man. Hit a subscribe. Peace.